Hey y'all, Dustin Schaefer here the Keto Pro. We're gonna talk about women and ketones and ketosis. Uh, one of the things, I get a lot of questions, the majority of our audience is a female-based audience. So um, one of the questions I just got was about hormones, about different times of the month, about different cycles of their hormone cycles in their life, and what happens if you stop ketones. So first off, let's talk about what happens when you stop ketones. Well, you gotta remember, our ancestrally, our human species, our human ancestors have been in ketosis majority of our entire life. And ma majority of the time they were in ketosis, but every once in a while they would cycle in and out. And so ketones elevate the ability to provide energy to our brain, our muscle system, more efficiently than glucose does. Now, glucose is still very important, but high consumption of that isn't that great for us, right? So when you stop ketones, your body won't perform as well as if you have ketones available. So if you stop, you're going to see less production of overall energy, focus, mental clarity, mind power. So you're not going to perform as well. And if you're, if you're concerned about that, then you have to find a way to sustain elevated ketone levels. A, either do a really strict diet for the rest of your life, uh, master fasting, and do a diet uh, variation, or drink ketones. And that's why I suggest drinking ketones, because it allows flexibility, allows it more excitement. It's actually easier, even somebody that does a keto diet. I still drink them because I like more because it gives me more, more long-term benefits in cognition. So if you stop, expect your body not to feel as good, as great as it does with because it's a sustainable energy source. Your body's probably not producing its own ketones effectively if you're not doing a perfect diet. So what about hormones? So women go through different cycles. Men do too, by the way, just differently. But women go through different cycles and what happens during those cycles and your body's going through lots of shifts and changes. And the question was, is, well, your body acts differently during those times. Yes, true. Actually, pregnant women go into ketosis easier. Why? Because it needs to protect the baby, right? So it, your body can produce ketones very easily. Um, at least some studies have suggested that. So uh, you ketones are vital for that. If you want to optimize energy and focus and mental clarity and mood, um, you're going to feel that when you elevate ketone levels. So does it have an impact on uh, on hormones? Uh, there's evidence that suggests it does. We have a doctor that talks about that and you can get a video that talks about with Dr. Andy and talks about the correlation to hormones in itself. But let's look at it this way. During your cycle or during menopausal symptoms or things like that, are how's your energy? How's your mood? How's your focus? How are you feeling? How's your cravings? Are they um, heightened? If they are, and ketones can help bring them back to maybe more of a balanced state, do you think that'd be a positive for you? Um, well, we're finding that it's the case. My wife uh, has found that that helps her a lot. And so this is just a great opportunity for us to be able to do that um, and help her through those situations um, and hopefully help her protect her um, from maybe over binge eating or, or stress eating um, and help her feel good as a mom with three kids at home that she can be more present and focused and not maybe have her moods off a little bit. And there's one more question. Um, actually, I think I got them all. Um, oh, is there studies for this? Um, studies are continuous. They're ongoing. Um, and so I, I don't keep up with all the studies. It's, it's probably impossible to do that. There's so many coming now. Um, but the studying around ketosis is, is been around for a hundred years. Nothing about it is new. The, the diet's been implemented for a long time. They've been studying ketone supplementation now quite a bit. And our product has a lot of ongoing studies around that. What we can tell you is the stories and testimonials just keep rolling in of people feeling better, living better, energy, focus, mood, sleep, fat loss, the things that you would need when your body goes under certain levels of stress. And the proof is in the pudding. After five and a half years, you know, and going on for a much longer, people are living better and making better nutritional choices. So good on them. No matter what you're challenging or going through, you can make better choices. That's a big plus. And if you can have sustainable energy and focus and not put on a bunch of extra body fat or even help lose some of it, that's also a big plus for long term and longevity. So I hope that helped. Ladies, um, drink your ketones. I promise you, I haven't seen anything like this ever before in my 20 plus year career. And I wish I would have had this 20 years ago because I could help a lot more people a lot faster. So cheers, y'all. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. For the next video of the series, check out right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that we send out the next video, you get notified, and you can check out the latest on the keto journey. Cheers, y'all.